Here's a quick overview of the bench that I made for my lathe. Sitting on casters, uh, the overall height is about 39 inches, and what you see there is two and a quarter inches of uh, wood top. You can see that this whole frame is made out of two by four C channel that I got for free. It's just hideous, but it's hard to argue with free steel. And the casters are rated at about 350 pounds a piece. There's no bracing in between the legs yet, so it's a, it doesn't roll very well, but it is very, very sturdy. The wood top actually came from another project and is made out of one sheet of three quarter inch plywood and two sheets of three quarter inch MDF trimmed in pine, stained and coated with poly. This was actually going to be an indoor uh, bench for something else and I ended up not using it. It worked out perfectly though because at 47 and a half inches by 22 and a half, it fits the lathe pen, which is 47 and a half by 12 and a half. The lathe itself is more like 46 by 18 roughly. You can see here that the lathe uh, chuck is about 12 and 3 quarter inches off the tabletop which gives me an overall chuck height of about 51 or 52 inches. Now I'm 5 foot 10 so I really think maybe 2 or 3 inches lower would be ideal but I don't think it's going to be uncomfortable to use it where I've got it. You can see here that they coat the lathe in something like Cosmoline, and that's going to have to be scrubbed off. I may actually break that out into its own video. We'll see how motivated I am. And as an added bonus, Grizzly throws in a free ball of blue lint with every lathe purchase. So that's the lathe. Uh, bracing in between the legs, and the steel is going to get painted black. Other than that, it's done. Now, there are a couple of bolts that pass through the casting, and this is how it gets bolted to the pallet. You'll need to remove these uh, when you first get your lathe. And the pan is drilled for these bolts as well. So you can drop these bolts down through your tabletop after you drill it. And uh, I, I think I used a 5 8 drill bit. Now the bolts are too short, so I actually need to get some longer bolts. I don't think they expected somebody to be bolting it down to 2.5 inches of plywood. But that's what you get. And the bolts are about 33.5 inches apart from each other. Anyway, so that's the bench. Uh, more to come and more Geo 602 videos in the future. Stay tuned.